New research shows nearly all sharks were wiped out 19 million years ago after a mysterious extinction event. And scientists discovered this by accident. Let's get to Dave of the Science Pro to, uh, to talk about it. Um, I've been reading some stuff about it. You've been doing your homework on it. It's uh, sharks almost went the way of the dinosaurs, right? You know, I was going to say, you know, the, you know, once they got through the whole dinosaur thing, they're probably like, "Woof, we're good to go now." <laughs> but then something else happened, and it was around 19 or 20 million years ago. And like you said, it was found by accident. Let me start by talking about when you talk about sharks. Um, this extinction event transpired. Um, again, 19 to 20 million years ago. Now, one thing people don't know is sharks have scales all over their bodies, even their eyeballs. They're called dermal dentricles. I'm just going to call them denticles, sorry, from now on. So what happened was, was a, I want to say in 2015, Dr. Elizabeth Seibert from Yale was literally handed a box of mud. And that box of mud contained 40 million years of history. So in this clay, they extracted two sediment cores that were thousands of miles away from each other, okay? Thousands of miles away. They contained fish teeth, shark denticles. Again, those are microscopic little scales that are found on the sharks and other different types of micro fossils. So using a fine paintbrush and separating this and using microscopes over time, Dr. Seibert kind of picked through all this sediment. Again, this is sediment going back millions and millions of years. And then all of a sudden, the good doctor realized that something happened that about 19 or 20 million years ago, that you know the same number of, of fish teeth and stuff were showing up, but these denticles were almost eliminated. So it you know, basically after doing more research and doing this on both sediments, she realized that this was more than likely a huge decrease in shark population. And to that point, they figured out it was like a 90% drop, 90% drop 19 million years ago in the shark population. And some of those sharks have never recovered as a result of that. But here's the problem, Russell, they don't know why. They don't know whether it was a climate change situation that abruptly happened. Uh, there were no asteroids of record that touched down 19 million years ago. So the big question is, what happened to these sharks? What do you think? It, well, that's the thing that, that, that struck me about the, about the thing that I read about it, is that it was so big that the shark population never recovered. And my first thought was, well, maybe something happened locally in that part of the Pacific Ocean. But the two sediment cores are from thousands of miles away, so mm. it had to have been something more global and something that was really large. You know, and you know, the doctor said kind of at the end of all this research that scientists in the far future are gonna pull up sediment cores just like we have done in this lifetime and they're going to realize that something is happening now to the sharks as well and what's happening now is over fishing and over mm. you know harvesting of these sharks so they're kind of in another decline now here we are in today's day and age but mm. it's a different reason they weren't overfished back then right we just don't know what it happened something but happened it was just a really cool study based on sediment yeah a big box of sediment and they figured all this out it's fascinating yeah thank you